Hello, I am Baron Chanda, Professor of Neuroscience at the School of Medicine and Public Health at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. My group is interested in understanding the molecular mechanisms of temperature sensitivity of ion channels. Ion channels are a class of receptors which form pores in the cell membrane. Ion conduction through these pores are controlled by stimuli which may include but are not limited to temperature, voltage and neurotransmitters. Temperature sensitive ion channels like the TRIP channels are found in peripheral neurons and members of this family are tuned to respond specifically to a narrow range of temperature stimuli. A general paradigm in the field has been that there is a distinct temperature sensing domain which is tuned to respond sharply to temperature changes and that this domain is coupled to the channel pore. However, mutagenesis studies over the past decade and a half have shown that mutations in these regions that are far apart in the three-dimensional structure can affect temperature sensitivity of these channels. To address this problem, we took a design approach. Such a technique has been used with remarkable success to understand the principles of protein folding. Instead of trying to dissect the mechanism of temperature sensation in natively thermosensing ion channels, we asked whether we could use our current understanding of protein folding thermodynamics to develop a mechanism which would allow us to understand how temperature sensing ion channels work or we need to conjure new ideas. Proteins undergo heat and cold induced denaturation due to solvent exposure of hydrophobic residues in the unfolded state of the protein. It has been suggested that similar principles may work for temperature sensing ion channels. In that case, the free energy of channel opening versus temperature plot will be convex when the delta Cp associated with channel opening is positive. Whereas when delta Cp is negative, the delta G opening versus T plot will be concave. Thus, for channel opening processes, a site that undergoes increased solvation when the channel opens will confer the process a negative delta Cp if it features a polar residue. In such a scenario, channel opening will be favored upon increase in temperature. Conversely, if the same site features a hydrophobic residue, then its state dependent solvation will confer a positive delta Cp which will render channel opening favorable upon cooling. To test this idea, we took a voltage gated potassium channel of known structure and which is relatively insensitive to temperature. We systematically change the polarity of sites that are believed to undergo changes in solvation during the gating cycle and find that these mutants have now become temperature sensitive. In fact, some of these mutants are as temperature sensitive as naturally occurring trip channels. Another principle that we tested is the idea of reciprocal relationship between voltage dependence and temperature sensitivity. Most naturally occurring temperature sensitive channels have low voltage sensitivity and it has been proposed that this would be expected for an allosteric system where more than one stimulus controls the function of the channel. We show that we could make our mutants more temperature sensitive when we neutralize the charges that contribute to voltage dependence of the channel. We observed this also for other mutants including a cold sensitive channel. Our study for the first time establishes a plausible molecular mechanism that underlies temperature sensitivity in ion channels. It suggests that the temperature sensor may not be a specific domain but it may arise from sites that are distributed throughout the channel, especially the ones that are undergoing changes in solvation during the gating process. 
This is very different from how one thinks about canonical allosteric systems where there is a well-defined sensor domain that communicates with the active site.